baby, oh baby, what is going on everybody? Welcome back for yet another live stream. Sincerely hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend. Happy Sunday out there in the good old YouTube land. How is everybody doing? Welcome back on board. Sorry about the uh, 30 second delay. Uh, every time I was trying to move the aircraft, because everybody's taking up a slot on Vatsim, every time I was trying to move the aircraft, the simulator was uh, freezing and crashing. So I just said, you know what, we're just going to be off Vatsim for the departure and then we'll log on uh, once we're airborne. That way we're not going to get in anybody's way. Nobody's going to upset us. How's everybody doing? Welcome aboard, my friends. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Sunday afternoon or evening for some of you guys now. Alberto coming in with a $1 donation. Thank you so, so much, Alberto, for supporting the stream. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Uh, John Richardson, how are you, man? Rainbow Banana, what's up, dude? It's Aviation Racer, Rasmus, Captain MH, Gary Broad, Facebook, Nick, Chaz, Mallet, Mallet, Mallet. Got you, Chaz. Bauer Silva, Blake Burka, Ramis K, Shotzula, Ravi Palula, Kevin is here, Toe the Beast, Cody Knox is here, Peter Cuthbert. What is going on, my friends? Spitfire, RAF 100, James K, Tom K, Emerge, Gaza Minkoloff, Henry Fly, Yoran, Edward A, all the fun things, Nick Roblox, Gamer Honic, The Guys, Tayab Ahmed, Kessie, James Atkinson, Abdi Dumardran. What's going on, my friends? Welcome, welcome. Xplain 11 Fanatic coming in with a $2 donation as well. Thank you so, so much. Xplain 11 Fanatic 1965. My man, thank you so, so much for supporting the stream. Huge and no floaties to you, sir. Thank you so, so much, man. Very, very much appreciated. Nadia is here. What is going on, the queen? How are you guys? How is everybody doing? Welcome aboard, my friends. Here we are. Today is going to be a fun day, guys. I'm actually looking very much forward to flying the Tolis. I know that uh, it's probably weird weird hearing that come out of my mouth uh, with everything that has transpired recently with that plane and the developer and everything surrounding that, uh, that whole issue. But anyways, let bygones be bygones, guys. I'm not worried about the past. Um, it's like I explained to Tolis. I said, I think that uh, you're focused a little bit too much on what I'm saying. I paid for that plane, guys. Like, I'm not... I'm not being paid by Tolis or nor, you know, should I censor what I feel about the plane. Uh, I, I'm allowed to think what I think and I'm allowed to have my opinions on certain aircraft. And you guys know that I'm uh, I, I'm very uh, outspoken sometimes, especially when it comes to certain subjects. If I don't like something, I'm not going to say that I like it and pretend that I like it. So, with that being said, Tolis version 1.2 is out. We have a whole new Flare Logic ground effect. Uh, that I'm very, very much looking forward to flying. So our second flight today uh, will be in the Tolis version 1.2 from Christchurch to Wellington. So that should be a beautiful, beautiful flight. I'm looking forward to that, guys. I'm really, really looking forward to flying that. I am uh, very excited to see what Tolis has done with the ground effects. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump inside the pit here of the beautiful Flight Factor A320. We're going to fly this bird at first. Uh, Mr. Dale coming to the 20 Norwegian Cronin. Thank you so, so much, Mr. Dale. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, sir. And thank you so, so much for supporting the stream, man. Absolutely awesome, Mr. Dale. All right. First thing is first. We have ground power, so let's go ahead up top here. We're going to select our external power. Battery 1, battery 2. Let's go ahead up top here. We're going to get our Adir set to the nav position. 1, 2, and 3. Nav and logo lights are going on. Get our seatbelt sign on here as well. No smoking can stay in the auto position. Emergency lights are getting uh, armed as well. We got KLM Pilot coming in with a dollar. Thank you so, so much, KLM Pilot. Very, very much appreciated, my friend, after everything that you did the uh, couple streams ago. Thank you so, so much, KLM Pilot. I will definitely add that onto your tally here. $401. Thank you so, so much, my friend. Huge no floaties, guys. All right. Uh, everything's going to be set up here. That is looking good. Wonderful. Uh, let's head down to our FMC. We're going to go to initialization. So we are going from... Queenstown NZQN. How about that landing in here yesterday? Holy moly. If you guys didn't take a look at that, head back to the stream yesterday and uh, watch the arrival into Queenstown because uh, <laughs> holy moly was it fucking sketchy as all hell. It was uh, quite a fun arrival to say the least. Alright, flight number. We are uh, New Zealand NZA. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Uh, Air New Zealand? It's got to be NZA. Is it? I don't know. NZA. Sure, why not? We can just check. Squawk box. ANZ. I'm so silly. ANZ. 
A-N-Z. This is what happens when you don't fly any of these airlines. 1954. Jesus, I didn't do the one. 1954. Oh, my lord. All right, there we go. Flight number perfect. All right, let's go uh, Let's go over here to our electronic flight bag briefly. Um, fuel for today's flight. We're going to head over to Simbrief here. We're going to take a look. Fuel is 5,700 pounds. No, not 57,000. 5,700 kilos. My apologies. Tons. Who's that coming in? We got Faded Red coming in with a $5 donation. Thank you so much, Faded Red, for your support, sir. Very, very much appreciated. He says, hey, Captain, I thought I should uh, join the first class cabin after being economy for over a year. No floaties, and it feels like 10K flight into Kai Tak was yesterday. Happy flying. Faded Red, thank you so, so much, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Hope you enjoy your new comfy seat all the way up in first class. Very, very much appreciated, Faded Red. Thank you so, so much, dude. All right, um, back over to service here. We are looking for a zero fuel weight, according to the sim brief of 60.2. So if we go over to our perf data here, we're at 61, so we need to remove about 800 pounds. So we're gonna put this to 7,600. We'll set that. If we go to perf data here, it should say 60.2, which it does, wonderful, happy with that. Let's go down to our FMC. Go to our second page here. We'll go to weight request, 60.3 with a block fuel of 5.7, wonderful. Let's go to Christ. Uh, let's go to Queenstown Departures. We'll be planning a departure out of 05. We're going to be taking the FD3 Charlie departure with the Tim Joe transition. We'll go ahead and insert that. From Tim Joe, we're going to jump on an airway. Thank you to Boobie's trick. We're just going to put in a DOP key here. D-O-P-K-I. Wonderful. That's going to put in Yankee 153. It looks good. Go to flight plane. We'll insert that. Wonderful. Scroll down here. Got somebody else coming in with a donation. Vess, my man, coming in with that sponsorship. Thank you so, so much, my friend Vess, the new mod member as well. He's got to grab his custom emojis. Thank you so, so much, Vess, for the support. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so, so much. And we got KLM Pilot coming in with another $2 donation. Thank you so, so much, KLM Pilot. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. I shall bump you up to 403. Thank you so, so much, guys. Huge no floaties. Vess, thank you for joining the crew, man. Very, very much appreciated. Our Approaching. newest mod, as well as getting those 10, or what do we got? 12 custom emojis now. Absolutely awesome. Uh, the Roblox Brothers, what's going on, dude? Thank you so, so much for that subscription as well. Very, very much appreciated. What Airbus are we flying today, Captain? How's your day going? Louis, doing well, man. We are flying the uh, Flight Factor A320 to start off, and then we're going to be flying the Tolis A319 second off. We got, oh man, we got another donation coming in. Dylan Hickman coming in with a $2.80 donation. Thank you so much, Dylan. He goes, what's going on, Cap? Watching from Newfoundland. Oh boy. Dylan, thank you so, so much, man. Hopefully you're getting better weather than we are, man. It is uh, minus two and like freezing rain outside right now. It is not nice. Not nice at all. Thank you so, so much, Dylan, for your support, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. All right. Back down here, we are jumping into Christchurch. We're going to be looking for the Dop... Dopked? Dopk? I don't even know how you, how you pronounce that. Dopked to uh, F Foxtrot arrival. We're going to be planning the ILS runway to zero. Just because winds work out better that way. And that is our arrival. And do we have any transitions? We don't, so we'll insert that. All right, let's take a look at this. Make sure everything we got one flight to discount so we'll just go ahead and fix that guy in right there and scroll through everything everything looks good there i'm happy with all of that wonderful looking good ready to rock and roll uh we got x 11 fanatic coming in with another two dollar donation thank you so much my friend this is good flying cap thank you guys so so much for the support very very much appreciated my friend huge huge no floaties to you guys thank you guys man you guys are absolutely insane today thank you guys very very much absolutely awesome guys very very much appreciated to all, every single one of you guys donating today. And Vess joining the crew, my man. All right, let's go over to initialization. Cost index for this flight, according to Simbrief, will be 30. We're looking for a cruise level of 250 this afternoon. Perfect, or this morning, I should say. Go ahead and throw through everything there. Everything looks good. We'll go to our perf page. We'll pop him open and uh, delete those because we don't want that. Let's go over to our e-bag here. Flaps are going to be 2 slash up uh, 0, 0. Whoever's approaching give me 2 seconds. I will get to you in a sec. Uh, we're going to be uh, flex 40 degrees today. We need to get the hell out of here. Uh, VR 128, V2 132. Put our V1 as 125. 
Wonderful. I am happy with that. Great. Looking good. Let's go to services. We're going to go to cargo. Let's close those doors. Passengers, remove as well. And uh, fuel truck can be removed. Wonderful. Let's head up top. Let's get our fuel pumps left side, center, right side. APU master start switch is going on. Hear them closing up the doors there. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and fire up the APU. And we need one minute on our IRS. Looks good. Approaching. We'll get 2200 in here as well. Get that all set up. We're ready to rock and roll for when we're on VATSIM. All right. I missed three approachings. Uh, we got, uh, who do we got? We got Jake Taylor. Thank you so, so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated. Nipoma Crisper to you as well. Thank you so, so much. And Alex Abatha to you three. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. And John Richardson coming in with that $3 donation. Thank you so, so much, John, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, John. Thank you so, so much for the continued support, my friend. Absolutely amazing. Everybody give John some love in chat. And then who do we got here? We got the guys coming in with the membership as well. The guys, thank Approaching. you so, so much, my friends. Very, very much appreciated, guys. Huge no floaties to you guys. Absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, very, very much appreciated. And uh, we got Crazy Eyed Killer Clown coming in with the one pound donation as well. You guys are absolutely insane. Thank you guys so, so much for all of the support. Holy moly, you guys are absolutely insane today. Thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. Holy shit, another member. My goodness me, what is going on here? Another member, we got KU11, AKA Kupauser. Thank you so, so much, dude, for that membership as well. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you guys. I sincerely hope you guys enjoy all those custom perks with your 12 custom emojis and everything else. Thank you guys so, so much for all of the support. Absolutely amazing. That is nuts. Thank you guys. You guys are wild. All right. <laughs> KJAC Beta Alpha coming today. I'm ready working on totally redesigned terminal. Nice, Owen. Definitely excited for that one, man. Owen, can you PM me, Owen? Can you go into my Discord and just PM me? Uh, send me like a direct link to it because I'd, I'd, uh, I'd love to be able to look at them. I think that'd be awesome. Jesus. What is going on? I put the join button on and everybody is jumping on board today. My goodness me. We got Vettel Renton joining the crew as well. Thank you so, so much, Vettel, for your support, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Huge. No floaties to you. We got Fire Rod Gaming coming in with a dollar, two dollar donation as well. It says, hello, Fire Rod Gaming. Thank you so, so much, man, for the support. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are absolutely insane. We got Gino Sessia coming in with a one pound donation as well. Thank you so, so much, Gino, for your support. Very, very much appreciated. We got Jay Campbell coming in with another $2. This is so fun. Oh, Jesus. You guys are making me work today, aren't you? Thank you guys so, so much for all of the support. Huge, huge no floaties to you guys. Thank you guys. Absolutely amazing. And we got John coming in with another $3 donation. Thank you so, so much, John. He goes, absolutely love this community. Love you all. Thank you so much, John, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge, huge no floaties to all of you guys. Guys, what the fuck is going on today? What the hell are you guys doing out there? Jesus, we got Ravi coming in with the membership as well. Ravi Palula, thank you so, so much for the support, Ravi. Very, very much appreciated, my friends. I sincerely hope you guys all enjoy your custom emojis. My goodness me. Look at all these members. Holy shit. We may have to do a members only stream here soon jay campbell with the two dollar donation thank you so so much jay campbell very very much appreciated we got everybody's donations coming in now mr dale coming in with another 20 norwegian krone and thank you guys so so much for the support my goodness me jesus what's the delay i'm waiting for my flight to depart right holy moly all right Let's, let's go and work on some things here. There's Mr. Dale's 20 Norwegian Cronin. If you bleed is on, let's go ahead and disconnect our external power. Let's go down here to our e-bag. We'll go to uh, supply. We'll get our ground power unit off. Let's go to plugins. We're going to go to a better pushback. Let's go to start pushback. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you nice. want to go. There's Ravi's membership. Holy moly, this is insanity today. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Is driving up. All right, sweet. I need to get the weather. Approaching. 
Uh, NZQN, what is their altimeter? 1005. All right, sweet. There we go. Um, let's get our cruise altitude plugged in here, 25,000 feet. And, of course, we'll select our V-speeds. We got those ready to rock and roll. All right, sweet. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, I missed, uh, who did I miss here? David Cordero. Thank you so, so much, dude, for that subscription. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you so, so much. Uh, we got Matthew Waster coming in with a two euro donation. Okay. He goes, at this rate, you have to refuel close. again. Ready to <laughs> You're telling me, man. Thank you so, so much, Matthew, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you guys so, so much. And we got Jay Campbell coming in with another $2 donation. Thank you so, so much, Jay Campbell. He goes, the ramp will release the flight. Love this, <laughs> right? My goodness me. Cap Canada, sponsorship isn't exclusive anymore. We need sponsor plus, right, Niels? My goodness me. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friends. Jesus, you guys are nuts. What do you think was better, the A320 or the A321? I haven't flown a 21 in forever, man. So I'm going to go with a 320. 320 is what I've flown on almost my entire life, especially with, like, Air Canada and stuff. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. I think that's the same cloud we, we had yesterday. Sketchy. Carl Johnson, thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, sir. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome, welcome. And Niels, thanks for finally going engine. to Queenstown. No worries, man. It was fun. Did you watch the landing yesterday? I'm surprised we even landed, to be honest with you. Jeez. <laughs> Nadia coming in with a five dollar donation as well. Thank you so much, Nadia. She goes, why not? <laughs> nice. Thank you so so much, Nadia, for your support. Very, very much appreciated the Queen. Huge no floaties guys to the Queen, and she also knocks off. Oh boy, she knocks off GVR with that one. Sorry, GVR. Nadia, $210. Gotta remember GVR is at 205 though. We gotta remember that. Casey comes back in here. Nadia grabbing that soul spot down below. KLM Pilot, thank you guys so, so much for the support. When are we departing? We're departing right now. We're pushing back. Don't worry. Well, I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, it looks like a good start on engine number two. Let's go ahead and fire up engine number one. Listen to those PTUs barking away. TPMI, how are you, man? Welcome back, dude. Hope all is well. Uh, do you like the V-Skylabs DC3? Never flown it. Never flown it. Uh, did you still? Nope, you're not late, sir. We are just starting the stream. Just underway, my friend. Pushing back from uh, Queenstown, New Zealand, on our way into Christchurch. Should be awesome. No vape? Why no vape? Do I hear Mod Donut Race going on? Cap Kenna, hello, by the way. T-Storm, what's going on, man? Operation Welcome complete. Aboard, dude. Hope Go all ahead well. and set the parking brake. All right, let's set our park brake. Disconnecting tail. Stand by. Thank you. We fly Jet 2 for the next leg. Uh, Niels, they don't fly any 19s. 319s. And I already have the sick, sick livery picked out for the Tolis. It's going to be fun. Play FSX and I got lots of add-ons. Uh, I'm FSX Sim. Nice. Uh, KU11. That's awesome, dude. Captain, hello, Cap. Uh, what did I miss? Not much, Jim Jack. What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. There's a lot of moderators here. Uh, not really. Only the Blues. It's Sunday, too. It's the weekend. Everybody's uh, around today. All right, this departure looks sketchy as all hell. Are we nervous about this departure? Should be okay, right? Where do you get those amazing sounds from? Uh, Clodec, this is VSS. Blue Sky Star removed. Simulation Can't sound back. Left. We'll see you next time, and have fun up there. For the Flight Factory 320. Alright, engine bolt selector back to the normal position. Let's go ahead and get flaps set position two for takeoff. Arm our spoilers. Auto brake over to max RTO. Nose lights going to taxi. Runway turnoffs are on. Beacon lights on. APU bleed is off. APU is off as well. Wonderful. Release our park brake. Good to go. Make sure we got tiller control. We do. Alright, sweet. Let's go and taxi ourselves over to runway zero five. A 
Storm, how are you, man? Welcome aboard. Ninja, what's up, man? Welcome back as well. Like Spike for Cap, yes, this is so weird. I got Canada on one eye and NFL on the other. <laughs> Sunday football, my friend. Sunday football. Alright, so we're gonna actually, uh, there's no direct way to the runway, so we actually have to do a back taxi here. So, interesting. Not a lot of airports, you see this. Actually, a lot of Greece, Greek airports have these back taxis and stuff. It's okay, we are not flying on any network right now because there's no parking space for, uh, for us. So that's okay, we don't have to worry about any uh, arrivals or departures. We're gonna join the network once we're airborne and uh, we're not on top of one another. Approaching Pretty small zero airport. five. Approaching zero five, thank you, that checks out. On runway two, three, one thousand two hundred feet remaining. The Greek squeeze their airports on the uh, available spot. Very true. Very true. Capcana Tower, please report intentions. <laughs> Departing and hopefully not crashing into the side of a mountain. That's what, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Simon Thug, what's going on, man? Uh, where is the join membership button, Captain Canada? Uh, Chaz, it should be there. Are you on your iOS, Chaz? I don't know if it's showing up on iOS yet. I think they were still working on that. Uh, there should be a join button now, like on the video. It's supposed to be a lot more accessible. I had to apply for it yesterday, but apparently the join button is supposed to be a lot more uh, accessible now for people to find. It looks like it has been. Looks like that's the case, <laughs> as uh, we've got so many members already today. Hello from Greece. Aristos, what's up, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Hope all is well. All right, guys, let's turn this bad boy around. Ready for a departure out of runway 05. On runway 05. Alright, sweet. Nice little turn there. Looking good. Alright, let's get our landing lights on. Nose light over to takeoff. Runway turnoffs can come off. Strobe lights are on. All right, my friends, let's get it. Throttles up to about 40%. And flex set. <phone rings> Jay Beans coming in with an $8.98 donation. Give me one second, dude, and I will get to that. Thank you so, so much for your support. Very much appreciated. Airspeed is alive. 100 knots. Positive rate, gears going up. The hell away from that mountain. Train radar on. Bottles down to the climb position. Following our flight directors here. Why would you go to OP climb? It's weird. John, thank you so, so much for that donation as well, man. Very much appreciated. All right, guys, give me two seconds. I don't know why. Yeah, we want egg, Tam. Insert. I don't know why it went to, went to OP climb, which was weird. We'll put it into climb mode. There we go. All right, flaps one. There we go, climb mode. Good. Flaps clean through 200 knots. Let's throw an autopilot. Now that we're in the soup and I can't see a bloody thing. All right, sweet. Opens eyes. This is heaven, huh? <laughs> right? All righty, we got uh, Jay 
Beans coming up with a nine dollar donation says hey man loving your flights you should come to New Zealand I have contact with Air New Zealand that can get you in a plane oh boy well if I'm ever in New Zealand I will definitely keep that in mind of thank course. you so so much dude for that donation as well and John coming up with a two two pound donation as well thank you so so much John for the support very very much appreciated man you know floaties you do thank you so so much go up and out of the clouds we're free and we didn't hit any mountains I would say that's a successful departure Is your hardware set up besides the T16,000 M uh, I have the SciTech radio panel uh, and I have the pendular rudder pedals do you fly in Greece oh yes Senos we fly in Greece all the time man we got all kinds of beautiful Greek airports out there we will uh, definitely be back as well man let's disarm those guys nose light kick them off the wing lights already off all right we're good there that left turn out of here. You ever do a flight 1337? No, we have not. Soup is looking good? Yes, there it is. Good old soup. I wonder if we got soup in Christchurch. We probably do, to be honest with you. We are going to definitely have to come back to New Zealand now because of all the crazy weather we've had. Scattered at 800 feet, broken at 3,600 feet. Yep, not not the best weather in Christchurch either. Coming up at 11,000 feet, that is standard barrel. Go ahead and pull that there. Landing lights can come off as well, above 10,000 now. Airspeed's coming to rise to uh, 317 knots, our climb out speed. Get you guys some wing views here. Uh, we do have Super Christchurch. Oh boy, Gary, it looks like we're going to take the true ILS. Uh, ZCH has awesome freeware scenery. It does, definitely does, man. For sure. I'll have to wait till payday comes to be a member. No worries, chats. No worries at all, man. No worries at all, my friend. It won't go away. She's always there. Thank you for considering that, man. Very, very much appreciated. Take the 7-6 into Queenstown? Oh, boy. I don't even know how that went. Oh, my. We got Jen199 coming with a $1 donation. Thank you so, so much, Jen, for the support. Very, very much appreciated. Because I think I've only... Uh, I think only when the nose touches the runway... Uh, then you set the reversers in Airbus. The plane slows to 70 knots and close the reversers. For Boeing, it's 60 knots. Uh, when you want, you should immediately race the nose down. Your landings aren't realistic. Really? All right, so listen. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, landing Airbus, landing compilation. Thank you so much for your money. So you donated to call me out. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm all about it. I love criticism. I'm all about the criticisms. But now, just to prove you wrong, we're gonna watch some. We're gonna watch some landing videos. We'll go landing compilations. Let's watch some landing compilations, guys, together, shall we? Since you've been dead messaged on Discord, alright, sweet, thank you, man. Much appreciated. What are these terrible views? Look at that, reversers open before the nose touched down. Very interesting. Very interesting how that happened, eh? Mm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Listen, man, do you know why they hold the nose? Do, do you know why they hold the nose? They hold the nose for aerodynamic braking. 
So obviously when the nose is tilted up on the plane, there's more airspeed drag being created. That's why they open the reversers with the nose still up. It's called aerodynamic braking. The reversers get opened and then they start and then you slowly bring your nose down. I appreciate you trying to call me out on it. I really do. But I mean, trust me, I've, I've done more research on this than, than probably one should, uh, one should believe. It's called aerodynamic braking and it is a thing used by every single airplane, whether or not thrust reversers are out or in, man. Just that's how she goes. Reverser open when the main landing gear is down. The weight there and the signals reverser so they can open. Exactly, Shashio. You've got it, my friend. The landing gear, not nose gear, predicts while being set to deploy spoilers and reversers. Yep. It's okay, Carl. I know. That's why I, want, I just wanted to play the video. That's it. I just wanted to play the video. Because I knew he wouldn't listen if I said it or if any of us said it. So I just wanted to play the video. That's it. I got my donation out of it. I don't care. Whatever. We played the video. All is good, my friend. All is good. <laughs> We ever fly to Serbia? We've never flown to Serbia. No, we have not. <laughs> Approaching. You mess with Kyle, you come back in silo, right? The Airbus, thank you so much, man, for that subscription. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome aboard. Uh, can we do a cabin tour? Yeah, we can do a quick cabin tour. Here we go, guys. Inside the cabin of the beautiful Airbus A320 by Flight Factor. We got our first class full of our mods, and donators, sponsors, and members. I don't know if we got enough room anymore for you guys up here. And then, of course, premium economy, because economy is not good enough for you guys. Uh, Kuzlum DXVE, thank you so much for that subscription. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Uh, G. Campbell says, love you, Gab Candy. You're so much fun. Thank you so much, my friend. Victor Iglesias coming with a one euro donation as well. Thank you so, so much, Victor, for your support, sir. Very, very much appreciated, man. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Uh, Capcan, did you pick up the Piper Arrow by chance? I did not, Remco. I did not. Not yet. I may pick it up. We'll see. We will see. Airbus and Boeing do not recommend keeping the nose high for effective braking. I mean, it's not high, but I mean, you once you touch down, it's not like I'm floating the nose. It's not like I'm trying to pull a cartwheel, but it's as soon as the main gear touches, you open your reversers, deploy reversers, steer nose wheel down into the ground. You don't just let the nose wheel go and let it fucking smash into the ground. It's you gotta have some finesse to it. That's it. Cap Canada's love, Cap Canada's life. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. Uh, Jay, uh, Jacob Ponzo, here you go, man. Just watch out for a Nightbot command. He's gonna come at you with my specs. There you go, man. Uh, is Flight Factor thinking of making replay sounds? Hopefully. We're not quite sure what's going on. I don't know why we don't get sounds during replay. Uh, I'm sat here with a broken rib and watching you. Nice, Lego boys. Hopefully you're feeling better soon, dude. You ever fly to Serbia and explain? I don't know if we've flown um, Nemanja. I don't know if we've flown to Serbia. We've been to Russia. We've been to the motherland. I don't know about Serbia, though. Uh, what's the best range in x 11, in your opinion? The best range? Best long range? Probably the 767 nice knife motion. The 76, man. Cap Canada proving people wrong. Well, I mean, like, I'm just, you know, like, I'm not trying to prove them wrong or anything, but, like, he donated and said I'm doing things wrong. So, you know, he's calling me out. He's telling me I'm doing things wrong. We got to show him that we are doing things right, right? All right, let's take a look here at our plan quickly. Make sure everything works out here. Again, with a little bit of a weird approach, we may go on vectors from Ur Urvax. We may go vectors in and around, we'll see. A little bit of a weird entry. I may actually check the charts and add some waypoints into there. Okay, do you like uh, Boeing or Airbus better? I don't really prefer either one, to be honest with you. Cap, what is the next purchase? 747, 800, or 777? Uh, I would Approaching. say the 777, to be honest with you. I think that's your best bet right now. Uh, Cap, can I can't change the squawk on the Flight Factory 320 with the SciTech radio panel. Help, please. And the 320 you can't with the radio panel? Really? I don't have any issues with it. Um, if you're having issues with the radio panel, 
just go like this and switch it to the bottom one. So if you go to like the XPFR, that's your squat code. That's like usually what I how I have it. Usually I have it, uh, well, it depends. Usually I have it on nav one for like nav source, obviously. But if you rotate it all the way to the bottom, you get your squat code right here. So I mean, I don't know. You could change it that way. Just use the dials. It changes, I think. My dials are all like frozen and shit. Yeah, should work. I should probably go back onto uh, onto Unicom here. Okay, how can you get the wing view? Uh, what do you mean? You can move your period and comma to move back and forth, up and down, to move in the sim. Once you find a view that you like, hold left control and pick a number on your numpad. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. Tech tips with Cap. You got it. We'll be the first flight on Pilot Edge. Not quite sure, man. Not quite sure. Alberto! My man, coming in with a $2 donation. Thank you so, so much, man. He goes, uh, just physics, man. Do your own thing, Cap. No floaties. Thank you so much, Alberto. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so, so much, sir. Very, very much appreciated. Two World Wars, what's going on, man? Welcome back, dude. Fly LK, LGKV Kavala next time in Greece. I'll take a look for it, Buki. I don't think there's any scenery available, but... I am not on VATSIM, no, Keanu. I am not. I will be going on VATSIM now. I'm going to log on now. File my flight plan. Hope we're not in anybody's way. Should be okay. Alright, give me two seconds here, guys. I got the yoke and throttle for FSX. Nice. Yeah, I got the yoke. Uh, I got the yoke and everything else over there as well. I got the mini PFD. I have the yoke. I have the uh, landing gear panels and all that stuff as well. You want to check the new Tolis catering menu that comes with the new update? Uh, I did not see that, Sajil. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, I definitely will. Uh, Cactus, we just did a we just did a cabin tour, man. No more cabin tours, dude. I'm actually just checking the charts here, guys. Bear with me for two seconds, please. Just want to make sure we have everything set up here for our arrival. Um, something tells me that our star isn't quite exactly what we want it to be. So it's very lackluster. We're going to do ILS runway 20. Uh, should be Odyssey. Do I see Odyssey? I see Divsu. Alright, so it should be Odyssey before Divsu. So, let's go and put, uh, Odyssey. What is it? O-D-I-S-I. -S Odyssey. And we're going to put it here. And we'll insert. And then we'll remove... Clear this. That should be good. All right, sweet. Odyssey, Divsu. All right, I'm happy with that. That is good. So it's already asking us for us to enter our descent data. So let's go to our first page. Go to next phase, next phase. Go ahead and check our METAR here for NZCH. And uh, the METAR is showing a QH of. Uh, what is the QH? 1008. All right, we got temperature of 12 degrees. Winds are 110 at 7. So it's going to be a crosswind landing here, same as yesterday. Uh, transition altitude is 15,000 feet, and we'll put our uh, 350 as our designated height. All right, sweet. Good there, looking good. All right, sweet. Looking good. so loud outside guys that's why we're not going outside for anybody asking clouds are orange on project fly radar what that's not good you're in trouble x-ray finland what's going on dude welcome aboard man hope all is well which key to use for the cabin tour what do you mean which key to use for cabin tour uh period and comma so if you like go up top here and you just use period and comma just move forward there you go so, period moves forward, comma moves backwards. And if you hold uh, right shift, 
it'll go even quicker for you. Pretty cool, right? I think so. Crosswind landing I'm bad at? Yeah, they definitely take some time. They take some time. You can use right shift as well to move fast if you want x -Main Finland. Marius, what's going on, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Welcome, welcome. Peely UK is here. What's going on, dude? Welcome back, my friend. Hope all is well, sir. What's the destination cap? We're heading to Christchurch, New Zealand, and then into Wellington, New Zealand, my friend. Christchurch and Wellington today. That Wellington approach was so beautiful yesterday. We got to do it again. Be a boss. What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Women like it. Mods come Canada. X Pain Finland. Uh, you're 18, right? Aren't you, x Wayne Finland? I think you're going to be in the next uh, next round, as long as you're 18. Jim Jim's a Boeing man. So many Airbus lately. I know, Jim Jim. Well, it's just because we're in New Zealand, man. New Zealand and Australia, all they fly is Airbuses. I mean, we, we, we flew the Boeings here, right? We flew the 78 and the, uh, the 787 and the uh, 777 to New Zealand. Not too bad. I haven't forgot about my my Boeings, but don't you worry. There will be plenty of Boeing time on the Pilot Edge network. We're going to become some uh, some proper cargo haulers on the Pilot Edge network, I think. Captain, there's an issue with the Tolis. Uh, you can't have the FMC pop up, so the Tolis menu open. You can't click on the FMC buttons. So you might want to pen and paper handy. Wait, there's an issue. I thought they fixed it, Nick. Didn't they patch it up? I thought they said the patch. You can't have the FMC pop out, or pop up, and the Tolis menu open. You can't click, ah, okay, never mind. I see what you're seeing, Nick. I misread that, my bad, got you. All right, sweet. I will definitely keep that in mind. I will definitely have a pen and paper handy, ready to go, sir, thank you so much. How long is left? Not long at all, guys. We've started our descent now. We are on our way down to Christchurch in New Zealand. Beautiful mountains over there. Everything's work was the tallest? Alright, good. How long until landing? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 15, 10, 15 minutes. Raining in Christchurch? Yep. I just saw that on the Meta report. We got Jen199 coming in with another $2, or er, another dollar donation. Thank you so much, my friend. He goes, I have FX8320 E Palette GTX 1080 3 gig, 16 gig DDR3 RAM. Can I handle uh, Boeing 732 or Boeing 727? I have the Flight Factor A320 and I have plus 30 or more FPS. I don't have X Enviro because it's expensive and it eats the FPS. Yes, Jen, um, you should be able to handle it. I think what's holding you back is the, the 1060 at 3 gigs. Um, it might also be the chipset. I'm not quite sure. It's a little bit older of a PC, but I mean, if you're getting 30 plus in the flight factor, I mean, this is probably the most intensive plane that, uh, that you can fly around. So uh, I would say if you're getting 30 FPS with this guy, you should be good with all the other ones, man. So thank you so much for another dollar donation. Very, very much appreciate, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Now's a good time to say it as well, guys. If you have not done so already, please smash down that like button, guys. I don't know how many likes we're sitting at, but if you haven't done so, that would be very, well, very much appreciated. We're sitting at over 200 likes. Wonderful, wonderful. 200 likes, my friends. What's going on, man? Welcome aboard. Uh, I can click on the FMC in the menu open. I'm flying the Tolis right now. All right, so yeah, I guess they fixed it. 
Uh, Nick, I'm pretty sure they fixed it. Maybe they did. Hey, you can't have both open. You can only have a new window. It's buggy. Told us contact me to warn you uh, as I'm having the issues that they are watching. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, okay, will you do a factory green delivery flight from one of the Boeing plants in SeaTac? Niels, good idea. Yes, I would definitely love to do that. That'd be fun. We'll definitely work something out. You doubt we'll butter this one? Ah, oh, you never know. Vape cloud smoke in the cockpit, emergency descent. You got it. <laughs> You're the best. You're the real pilot. Uh, Charan, what's going on, man? No, sir, I'm not a real pilot. I just do this for fun, dude. This is uh, a hobby and uh, passion of mine being in the uh, simulator world. I'm actually really, really excited to fly the Tolis next. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I want that plane to do to be good. Trust me, I do. I really want it to be an amazing plane. I just, I really, really hope that they've, uh, I mean, the changelog looks amazing. It looks like they've been putting a lot, a lot of work into it. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to fly it. I'm excited to see how she handles. Uh, it would be awesome if there were a real pilot. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes. I bet you if I was a real pilot, I wouldn't be doing this. I could probably assure you that. One, I probably wouldn't have the time. Two, I probably wouldn't have the energy. Not at this schedule, at least. Not at this pace. Watch you every day. Thank you so much, Toby. Much appreciated, man. Did you ever go to Holland? Yep, be a boss. We've been to Holland. Uh, journey plan for Tuesday. I have not nylon. I have not. I have not. I have no clue how I want to approach the situation. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how the month's going to go, to be honest with you. I don't know where I want to start. I don't know where I want to end. I'm not quite sure what the plan is so far. I mean, ideally, we should be flying into Denver, right? On Tuesday, or out of it and into it. We'll figure something out, man. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Tolos looks great, but I'm away for the A321 that they're releasing next year. Yes, Fess. That's the plan. Do I have a girlfriend? I do not right now. Nope. How many gigabytes of RAM do you have on your computer? I have 32 gigabits of a RAM. Gino. Uh, do you still think I'm sketchy? Lego boys, what do you mean? I never say you were sketchy, did I? Do you recommend the A350 from the plane store? Luke, uh, in its current state, no. I do not. Uh, I know that Tolis is working on that plane as well, though. Uh, I think they're going to be fixing up the FMC for us. So I would wait for a version 2, if I were you. My opinion. Do you agree that a pilot hasn't actually flown a commercial aircraft if they haven't flown a Boeing? Nope. Capcan, once I get my apartment in Amsterdam sorted, feel free to come out uh, to come over. It depends on my ATC intake works out. Sounds good, Niels. Absolutely, man. Uh, Cap, I can't join the Discord group because it loads the App Store. I'm on iOS. Please, could you send a link to chat for anybody else? Uh, yeah. With the Discord. Here you go. Should be able to join from here. Should be able to join from your server browser, I think. Did I? My bad, Lego. I don't. I don't remember that. Captain, okay, okay, just watched the last fight, the 737 Max from yesterday's stream. For that landing, was very lucky. That's why you fly with Captain Canada, right? He throw a plane spotter. That was gnarly, man. That approach was wild. Wild. What is my favorite plane in real life? My first love of an airplane was a Dash 8 Q400. Uh, my second love was an Airbus A340. I think those are my two favorite planes in real life. Q400 and an A340. I'm in Christchurch waiting on you at 737 Max. Nice, Smokey. We're on our way, man. We're on our way. Why are you playing with this low field of view? What do you mean, Octobush? It's at 70%, man. I feel like that's the, uh, the, the best value. Anything more and everything just seems so, like stretched back out, man. I find 70 degrees is perfect. Come get an A340 and MD-11 here. The MD is a beautiful plane as well. Uh, for VRAM, iCore, i7-4700 will handle the Flight Factor A320 with a GTX 1050. Crazy boom, you should be able to. Should be able to. Uh, what about the ERJ-195? It's a beautiful plane. I'm honestly not a fan of the ERJs. They are beautiful planes. I just think that, like, I don't know, man. The FMC makes my head hurt. I, I try and I've tried to learn the FMC so many times. It's just so back ass backwards. It's unbelievable. The FMC legit makes my head hurt. Like, I don't know what it is about them. I don't know if it's just the manipulation of them in the simulator world, but fuck are they just oh man. Dying.
Kepka, okay, I'm always happy with my favorite song, Stats. Please start over with a tad bit more volume. Pretty please. <laughs> this is Nadia's jam. All right, we're going to restart Nadia's jam for her. This will be the last jam before we land anyways. Here you go, Nadia, just for you. Do you play any other games that uh, explain? Yes, I do. Play lots of other games. Do you play any other games? Yes, I got that one. Well, Embraer's a weird Airbus or Boeing pilots. Brazil kind of does its own thing. Very true to guys. Very true. Very true, man. Okay, okay, consider placing the link in the stream description uh, since many people ask for it. For what, Niels? The link for what? What am I asking for? Flight level 100 check. Yeah, we're good. 250 knots. Landing lights are on. The Gucci. Ground spoilers are armed. For the Discord? I mean, yeah, there's, there's a timer that goes. It's every 15 minutes the timer goes. And we have, like, a thing for it. All you have to do is exclamation point Discord, and it pops up an invite for them. Caught you live, love the stream. Danny, thank you so much for the kind words, dude. Very, very much appreciated. <laughs> Deals. What does the cover of x men 11 look like on the box? I don't know, dude. I have the Steam version. I have no clue. Is our A330 worth it? I believe so. I love it. Great plane. Do you think Jar will release a 340? Uh, they are releasing a 340. I don't know what model. I think they're doing the 500, to be honest with you. We're about to get into the soup here, my friends. Soup time. Embraer yokes, the bicycle handles. I think they're weird. It'd be kind of cool. I'd love to fly with one. I'd love, like, I bet they're super responsive. Just because of, like, how you sit with them, right? You're like that. I think they'd be, like, really responsive. Turning would be weird, but, like, up the up and down movement? Probably be pretty easy. Probably be really cool, actually. Tough guy, would you say flying in New Zealand is closer to flying in Europe or North America? Uh, probably Europe. Because they go with like Q&H over here, they got weird transition levels, it's, it's in the realm of Europe. It definitely feels like a European airspace. One. Choose UHD and HD mesh. Nope, just ortho for XP, my friend. Active Sky in the next month. Uh, Victor, I mean, yeah, but like, let's not get too excited here, man. Like, did you see what they're doing? So they're releasing their weather engine within the next, like, couple of months. But then what they're doing is they're not releasing their cloud art until next year. So, like, I don't know. Jen199 coming with another $1 donation. Thank you so much, Jen, for your support. Much appreciated. Jen says, which plane do you recommend between the Boeing 732 and the 727? Are they worth it? Uh, I mean, from what I've heard, I don't own either of those planes. From what I've heard, the 727 is extremely worth it. The 727 is a beautiful plane. We may end up picking it up maybe one day. I don't think this week or this month. Maybe on the next big X-Plane sale when we're uh, desperately needing and wanting to fly something different. Uh, but yeah, from what I've heard, the uh, 727 is the best plane uh, created by that uh, by that developer. Who's it? Fly J Sim. Yeah. So using the 1080 Ti cap. Uh, Air Mitch, you just the 1080. Super clocked. Yes, 1080 Ti should be here by the end of next, uh, or the end of this week coming up. We're Sunday today, I really hope I get it before the weekend. Thursday, Friday, I'm really hoping. Really hoping, Thursday, Friday this week. Fingers crossed. Everybody cross your fingers for the captain, Approaching. please. Uh, hell, Jesse can land the 727 balls deep in his beer bottle. You can too, very true, Niels, very true. 1080 Ti, early Christmas present, you got it, Vess. Cap can't recently be flying around Australia and New Zealand on Tuesday. Nope, we're gonna be back 
in the U.S. of A flying on the Pilot Edge Network. Oh boy, how many people are excited for the Pilot Edge Network? Show of hands, my friends. How many people are excited? Approaching. Worth the 1K? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I mean, a little bit more than 1K, but yep, worth it. Worth it, worth it. <laughs> Cowbelly PE. Oh, boy. Johnny Bravo, coming in with a 5 euro donation. Thank you so, so much, Johnny, for your support, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, sir. It says, great job, Captain. Hello from Belgium. Johnny Bravo, thank you so, so much, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you so, so much for the support, man. Very, very much appreciated, dude. Uh, we need to make an I Love Pilot Edge. Well, no, I think what we're going to get a lot of on the Pilot Edge is people spamming 200 IQ at me because I fucked something up. Uh, Pilot Edge, for those of you that don't know what Pilot Edge is, uh, Pilot Edge is basically like a Vatsim-esque. Uh, so you have live air traffic controllers, um, top-down coverage, actually. So you have clearance, ground, tower, departures, centers, arrivals, uh, tower, ground, you know, like, it's it's the whole experience of flying real world, but in a simulator. Um, so it's really, really cool, actually. It's really cool. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, definitely something to look forward to. All right, guys, it's got 190 knots plugged in here. Approaching. I'm going to try and get under the glide slope here. No, no. Keep following. Just go to 3,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Alrighty, guys, let's go gear down. Got our nose light on, wing light's coming on as well. Thank God for ILS approaches, holy moly.
Approaching two zero. Perfect. the runway to the left. Let's bring our flaps up clean. Spoilers going clean here as well. Alrighty. Landing lights coming off. Nose light over to taxi. Runway turnoffs coming on. Strobe lights are going off. Let's fire up our APU. Start switch. That aerodynamic braking was beautiful. Thank you so much, Chuck. Much appreciated, man. You gotta fly that bad boy into the ground. Can't just slam her down. Gotta fly her into the ground. It's gonna train off here as well. Overall, I would say a beautiful flight. I mean, considering the weather. Holy moly. Is that ugly or what coming in? What do we... Barely, barely had the uh, airport visible at 300 feet. Ride Dog's in the house. What's going on, Ride Dog? Welcome, welcome in. Windmill has some balls showing up, right? Oh boy. These two guys just short final together. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just flying together or what? Yeah? Alright. Fair enough. Sounds good, Niels. Alright, APU Gen is going online. Approaching 2 9. not bad separation as long as he can make the make it off the runway can nobody park in Bill's spot 69 that's our spot right Bill right
Drone Journey, what's going on, man? How are you, my friend? I see you're raging. Are you raging because I'm not paying attention to you? Because if you are, you should probably grow up a little bit, man. Realize that there's 500 people in here and I can't get to every single one of you at all times. Park break's going on. Engine number one's coming off. Engine number two is coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you here to Christchurch, New Zealand. Oh, baby, we made it. Oh, yes, we did, we did. The clouds are in the windshield again, or is it the vape? No, it's the clouds. It is. It's the clouds. I don't know why it's doing that. It's got to be an X Enviro bug. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. Can I get an I love Vatsim in chat, please? Can I get an I love Vatsim in chat? So outrageous. Let's talk a replay mode here, guys. Let's back the sucker up. Take a look at that beautiful arrival into Queenstown. Or, sorry, into Christchurch from Queenstown. Love seeing the I love Vatsims. We got a lot of members now, so we better see a lot of I love Vatsims in chat. <laughs> love how he just slides in, right? Just like pokes his nose there. Like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, how are you? What are you doing? Hey, Cap, what are you doing over there? A little bit of a, uh, we didn't really over flare it, but we kind of pulled it a little bit too early. Not bad though. Not too shabby. Could have been worse. Could have been worse, my friends. I parked at gate 69 and I needed a partner. I mean, that makes sense, right? Approaching. And planter. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's take a look from the tower view here. No. Why tower? I'm gonna do that to us, man. Alright, let's watch some wing views then. Got a public music playlist, or is it just for streams? Just for streams, Hosen. Just for streams, my friend. Uh, do you use enriched scenery? I mean, not really. It's an added scenery, yes, but it's freeware. Anybody can pick it up. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's take a look from the back view here. Capri, do you know his call sign? I do not. I do not. Bill would be proud. <laughs> And a little floaties. Yep, a little bit of some floaties here. Had to put it down nicely for you guys, right? Just a little bit of floaties. I love the uh, I love the shadow of the airplane coming in. It's so cool. It looks so great. Beautiful. Cap getter for your merch page. The prices aren't showing up. Really smart. That's weird. I'll have to take a look at that, man. Might be because it's out of your country of origin. Maybe why. One more view from this end. This side, sorry. Chaz, what's appreciated, man? I thought it was a summer in New Zealand, right? Holy moly, man. Apparently, we just chose the worst time to come flying into New Zealand. I was really hoping, like, all this weather left by, uh, by today. Alrighty, beautiful. Look at that. Down on the ground. Sexy as all hell. Hold that nose. 
Bring her down gently into the ground. Look at that. Wonderful. All right, you guys, give me two seconds. I'm going to load up in the Tolis A319, and I will see you guys in about five minutes.
Welcome back, my friends. Here we are. Let's give OBS that uh, mandatory couple seconds here to realize that it is indeed running in the background. I'm getting my timing down pat. Oh, baby, here we are, my friends. The Tolis A319. Oh, baby, the baby bus. Is it back in full swing? Are we going to enjoy flying the hell out of this bird? Let's see. Hopefully we do. We're in the baby bus. Oh my. The baby bus, my friends. This one should be a beautiful flight here, guys. Christchurch to Wellington, New Zealand. We're going to be landing on runway 16, just like we did yesterday. So it should be a beautiful, beautiful flight. Facebook Nick says it is very different. All right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Julius McMahon coming in with a two-euro donation. Thank you so, so much, Julius, for your support. Very, very much appreciated. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you so, so much for your support, Julius. Very, very much appreciated. All righty, guys, without further ado, let's jump inside the pit of the Baby Bus A319. Wonderful. First things first, we got our ground power on. Batteries are on. Let's go ahead and flip our deers over to the nav position. Wonderful. Looking good uh, with that. Let's get our nav and logo light on. Seatbelts are going on, no smoking to the auto position. Going to arm our emergency lights. Wonderful. Let's go down to our FMC here. We are going to go ahead and go to init ref. We are going from... Actually, you know what? I need some lights. Uh, interior lights, panel lights. Okay, thank you. Uh, we are going from NZCH over to NZ, uh, WN Wellington. Throw that in there. Let's align our IRSs. Flight number, we are NZA1957. Uh, or 1958, sorry. I think. What did I come in as? Yeah, we're 58. My bad. And it's ANZ. I swear I'd get it right after one of these times. All right, there we go. Uh, wonderful. Let's get our radios on here. <clears throat> Unicom 122.8. We don't have any ATC online, so that's good. Uh, let's go to flight plans. NZCH departures. We're planning for a departure out of a runway <clears throat> 20, which we uh, landed on. We're going to go runway 20 for departure. We are planning the Nub K5 Papa. Nub K5 Papa. Something tells me that that is not the departure runway that they have given me. Nope, it is not. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right. <clears throat> so they want the copy. Generate. Okay. Plugins. Squawk box. Send flight plan. That is what we're doing. All right. So we need the Bide 5Q. Bide 5Q departure with the Greta transition. We'll go ahead and insert that. Wonderful. From Greta. <coughs> Pardon me. My goodness me. I got some stuck in my throat. From Greta. We're going to jump on an airway. We are going to Yankee 393. 393. Wonderful. And we're taking that to Wards. W-A-R-D-S. Uh, wonderful. We'll go to return. 
from wards. We're going to jump on the ward 2B arrival. We're going to plan for ILS 1-6, the ward 2 Bravo arrival. There we go. And we shouldn't have any transitions. And we'll go no via, no transition. Insert that. All right, wonderful. There we go. Our flight plan is set up, looking good. All right, so Nick was saying I can't. Are you sure, Nick? I'm going to pop this open. We're going to try this real quick right here. Tolus menu. You can pop that open. You can pop this open now. All right. Let's go over to our aircraft configuration. And on that, we're going to go... Okay, I see what you mean, Nick. I got you. I wonder if you can... If you pop it out like this, can you? Yeah, so you can, but you just have to pop it out like this menu. And you can. That's not... It's not the end-all, be-all. You can definitely work around it. Not, not the worst. Not the best, obviously, but not the worst. All right. We're looking for a zero fuel weight today of 57.2. 57.2. So let's add some passengers here. 57.2. There we go. 130 passengers. Uh, all right. We'll pop this open here. Um, we're going to be doing a runway. We'll be doing a flaps two departure. Wonderful. Pop this guy open once more. All right. So we have a zero uh, fuel weight CG of 29.4. Slash zero fuel weight of 57.2. We'll throw that in there. Great block fuel. We need what do we need here? 5.2. Let's go ahead and set that here. 5.2. Quick refuel. Wonderful. Um, all right. So 5.2 on the fuel. Looking good there. Great. Let's throw that back here. Cost index. According to Simbrief, whopping 35 with a cruise level of 250. Once again. Switch that over here. Everything should be in the green. Great. Let's go to our perf page here. Uh, flex temp's going to be 72 degrees. We're looking for a flaps. Uh, we're going to do a flaps 2 departure slash down 0 0.1. All right. We'll throw that into there. Transition altitude's 13,000 feet. Okay. Uh, V1, 147. VR, 147. V2, 150 knots. Wonderful. There we go. With all that, our pre-flight is complete, my friends. Looking good. I'll pop you open. All right. Yeah, we're good. Okay, sweet. And I don't need this anymore. We can close him. Great. Looking good to go here. We need our IRS to align. It's going to be five minutes. We are not waiting for that. Let's go to Tolis. We'll open up our menu here. Go to uh, Adiru Quick Align. Wonderful. Thank you. Not waiting the five minutes. No, thank you. Get this guy on. We'll put him on flight plan. All right, sweet. So everything looks good there. I'm happy with that. So let's go up top here now, guys. Fuel pumps are on already. So let's go ahead and fire up our master starter switch on the APU. And we'll go ahead and fire that bad boy up. Very curious to see how this bad boy flies now. Going to be climbing to 25,000 feet today. Wonderful. APU is starting. Great. Let's go to plugins. We'll go to better pushback. Go to start pushback. Down to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. You need to go this way. We'll enter that in right there. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Wonderful. Toe is driving up. Looking good. Bill Clinton, my man, coming in with a $1 donation. Thank you so, so much, Bill. He goes, hi, guys. 100% Bill here. Uh, men got gate 69, just Monica. Oh, Jesus. Something tells me that that is not Bill, but thank you so much for the $1 donation. Huge no floaties to whoever that was. Definitely Cobalt Skies. Thank you so much, Cobalt. Much appreciated, man. Dude, we're looking forward to flying this bad boy, man. I'm looking forward to it. APU bleed is on. External power is disconnected. Wonderful. Let's open up our Tolis menu here. Do I have to, uh, remove the... Uh, where is he? What do I go to? Do I go to ground services? External power. Yep, there we go. All right, he goes bye-bye. Approaching. No more external power. Wonderful. Going to get ready to push ourselves back. Okay, here. all doors and hatches are closed. Ready Marlene, to tell us. Thank you so much for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome aboard. GPS primary is available. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Now, why... Perfect. Climb, nav, good. All right, just going to pick our nose up here. Okay, 
Toe connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Alrighty, parking brake is released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. We start engines, engine mode selector over to the start position. And let's go ahead and fire up engine number two. Uh, Cyrus, what do you mean? You absolutely don't appreciate Bill's username, it's disgusting. Bill, I, I don't think that was Bill. I think Bill did change his name, uh, but I do understand. I do understand. x ray Finland, you can chat. What do you mean? I can see all your stuff right now. Chat is broken? Oh, on screen, chat's broken. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Hold on. We can fix that. That's an easy fix. There you go. That's an easy fix, my friends. back when I was pushing back. All three of you guys, eh? Just all had to push back when I was pushing back at the exact same time. Alright, so engine number one is going on. Johnny Bravo coming in with the membership. Thank you so, so much, Johnny. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you so, so much, man, for supporting the stream. Absolutely awesome, dude. You're flying the C550? Nice, can you? Awesome, dude. How do you calculate flex? I should be given to you on Simbrief, man. I use Simbrief. You don't calculate it. And if you're flying the Tolus A319, it actually comes with it, which is pretty cool. It comes with its own little Operation calculator. Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Park brake set. This is just the biggest cluster. Disconnecting tail. Stand may, by. I may just start departing out of these airports without any ATC or without being uh, online. Engine mode selector back to the normal position. Let's go ahead up top. Beacon lights going on. APU master switch is coming off. APU bleed is coming off. There we go. Johnny Bravo sponsorship is coming in. Thank you so, so much, man. Where do you find the flex step on Simbri Faded Red? Uh, in your little OFP, scroll down, top right side. Top right side. All right, guys, let's get flap set position two for takeoff. Love the flap noise in this plane. Hmm, so nice. Let's arm those spoilers. Auto brake over to Max RTO. Flip this guy over here, 1008, looking good. So is disconnected, and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time, and have a safe flight. Thank you. Isn't it 340? Release our park brake. Oh my god. I can just tell by how it acts on the ground. Oh, finally, Tolis. Thank you so much. This I'm telling this plane's probably amazing now. Watch. <laughs> Watch. It's probably so good now. Tolis, what have you done? You fixed it. I can already tell just the way it feels on the ground. It's so much heavier. It actually feels like I'm flying a fucking jet now, and not a Cessna. Thank you, Tolis. Oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be a breath of fresh air. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Okay, fuck this. This is what you guys get. Until we can all learn to not be idiots, I'm not going to depart off uh, like with you guys anymore. Because this is just turning into the biggest clusterfuck. I don't have time to wait around, guys, today. That's why I'm just disconnecting from the network. I'm not having it at all today. I really, really, really don't have time. Uh, it's my mom's birthday, and it was my grandmother's birthday the other day on stream. You guys remember I called her. So I got to go. I don't have a lot of time to be screwing around. So uh, we're just, uh, we're just, we'll be off of, uh, we'll be off of the network for departure for now. We'll log back on after we're in the air, guys, but... For the time being, right now on departure, that's way too much of a clusterfuck. Cap can announce my KJAC pre release on Discord PM sent to you. Thank you so, so much, man. Very, very much appreciated. Matt Design coming in with a $1 donation. Thank you so much, Matt. He goes, Don't you fucking dare jinx it. It's going to fuck up now. Better not. Better not. Uh, I, I'm really hoping I'm going to enjoy it, though. I can already tell it feels 
so much better on the ground. It doesn't feel all squirrely and squaggly like it's about to get away from me. So good step already with the ground movement, that's for sure. Really enjoying that. Let's just hope she flies is nice. Uh, Matt, you still have to keep the throttles in as long with this thing? Hi, birthday Cap Canada's grandma and mom. Yes. Videos are awesome tutorials. You got it. Cap Canada, that virgin is like me. Just push back. I don't see anyone behind me. Okay, got you. I got you. Don't crash since it's foggy. Nah, we're good, man. We're good. Am I watching the Great Cup tonight? I may tune in for a little bit just to see what's going on. Ottawa's playing, aren't they? Going for back-to-back? -back? Or did they win last year? Who won last year? Very good sounds. I'm satisfied with the purchase of the Tolis. Is this version 1.2? Yes, Igor, it is. It is, it is. Uh, Matt, I found with the Tolis, you really had to keep the throttles in till about like 10 feet off the runway. If you cut your throttles too early, the plane would just kind of bomb it to the ground. Uh, that was at least how it used to fly for me. Landing lights are going on. Strobe lights are going on. Wing lights are going on. Nose light over to take off. We are uh, Ecam Memo, no blue, looking good. I like the new pop-outs. I like the way that looks, very nice, clean look. I like it, I dig it. Good work so far, Tolis, I'm digging it. I really like the way it handles on the ground now, though. I can confirm that. It actually feels like a fucking jet on the ground now. Wonderful. Do you have a discount code on the org store? I do not, Ben. Not yet. I'm working on some stuff for you guys. Throttles up to 40%. Flex set. Airspeed's alive. One hundred knots. Rotate. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. Yep. 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 I just want to feel how she feels right now. Yep. Yep. Good job, guys. That is wonderful. Flies so nice. Actually flies like a jet. Gears up. passengers. <laughs> I was just moving around my throttle. I had to figure it out. Throttle's down to the climb position. I had to see how she was flying. I had to see if she got some I weight to her. She does. I like it. Some nice weight to her. CT Flyer, thank you so much for that subscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Flaps going up position one, guys. And approaching 200 knots here. Flaps going clean as well. Wonderful. Let's engage our autopilot. So we're about to come in through that soup. Nose lights coming off, runway turnoffs coming off, wing lights coming off as well. Up, up and away, my friends. Up, up and away. Just like as far. I can work out a better wing view after. Depths of Tolis said that they are focusing more on the aircraft system and realism than the modeling first. Maybe. It was the Argonauts uh, that won 2017. They beat Calgary. Yes, that's, that's right. That's right. Is that windmill there in real life? It is not fat cubed. SCV, thank you so much for that subscription. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. If you had a discount code or just a code reference, just bought the A319. Fingers crossed. Nice, Ben. Awesome, dude. I mean, she flies nice now, man. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. All right, let's disarm our spoilers. Joshua Wigger, thank you so much for that subscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. All right, let's get this tallest menu here. Go to turn those engine sounds down. Perfect. I always like having those off departure. Blasting up out of here. All right, hold on. Let me uh, Let me work on a better wing view for you guys here. 
get one with like the wing? Actual engine. That's not bad. What nine? That one needs a two. Alright. Matt Design coming in with a one dollar donation. Thank you so much, Matt. He says, get your arse out of the cockpit and give me the SATCOM in-depth look. Uh, took me weeks to work on that. It's also my first commercial modeling job. The SATCOM? Right here? Oh, baby. Look at that little thing. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was you, like you added it on all the planes. That's sweet. I dig it. Very okay. nice. Good work, man. SATCOM action. Look at that delivery. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 10,000 feet landing lights are coming off. Get our seatbelt signs off as well here. Go to the bathroom if you need to. Alright. Log back on the squawk box. Send our flight plan. Beautiful. All right, we need to set up this view here as well. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Now we can actually see the fan blades spinning. Sweet! I like it. Louis Creative, what's going on, man? Welcome aboard. Need to give you an answer for the plane after you land if I should go with the 777 or the A319. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. MSE Gaming, yes, sir. I can see your messages, man. You fly to Newark or Cento at Domingo? Newark would be fun. Yeah, we flew in there, well, like two weeks ago. Black Liberty plane is going to get real hot. Yep, she will. Let's go standard barrel. I'm actually going to take a look here at uh, our plan. French, uh, un petit peu. Je peux parler français juste un petit peu. Trav time, what's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, sir. Kurt Hurt coming in with a two euro donation. Thank you so, so much, Kurt, for your support, sir. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you so, so much for supporting the stream. Very, very much appreciated, man. Thank you so, so much, dude. You got put your settings for explain everything almost everything's pretty much on I except reflections turn them down to minimal and four times anti-aliasing S M A A and F X A A that's Quebecois S D Tabarnak that's Quebecois Hello what's the name of the song this song is called Oh it's a good one though All of Us by Daxton All of Us all of us. Dax. Sorry, it's Daxton. Cap what a beautiful takeoff and departure. Love the aircraft. Thanks, Chaz. I hope it I hope it lands as well as it departed. That's for damn sure. K11 sounds good, Ben. The last wing view was better. What, this one? He 
You see the cabin? Yeah, we can do a cabin. Calvin's Aviation SFO coming in with a five dollar donation. Thank you so so much, man. He goes, I'm broke as fuck, but your stream is awesome. Thank you so so much, Calvin, for supporting the stream. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you so so much, my friend. Chat, please give Calvin some love. Absolutely awesome, guys. Some no floaties in chat for Calvin. Very very much appreciated, man. Thank you so so much, dude. Guessing landing rates will be pretty sketchy today. Yes, they most definitely will be. Alrighty, here we go inside the cabin of the Tolis A319. Cabin is beautiful, this bad boy. We got Andy H2005 coming in with a two euro donation as well. Thank you so, so much, Andy, for your support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. We got Jacob's Aviation coming in with a $5 donation as well. I love your streams. Thank you for flying Air New Zealand. Well, thank you so much, Jacobs. Glad you are enjoying the streams, man, and glad we could finally hit up New Zealand. Thank you so, so much, man, for the donation. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Thank you so, so much, dude. Very, very much appreciated, guys. And there's Andy's donation coming in. Andy, thank you so much, man. Can I, can I run one plane key on different rings? I don't want to buy the ultimate on two rings. Yes, Bluffy. You can. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Kurt Hurt. There's the subscription. Thank you so, so much, man, for that. Very much appreciated, dude. At least we could finally actually catch some of the photo reel down here today. There's our top of climb. We think of Active Sky News for X Plane. Uh, Igor, I mean, I don't know, dude. I'm kind of on the fence about it right now, and I'll, I'll explain why. I mean, they're releasing, they're releasing their weather so their weather engine they're releasing it but they're not gonna have any cloud art so like we're pretty much in the same spot that we are now like we don't have anything with good cloud art uh benko benz thank you so much for your subscription very very much appreciated my friend glad you're enjoying the content sir welcome aboard man we tried the new a321 xlr that airbus might make uh nope spec life i, I don't know how we would try it if they haven't even made it yet uh cup can finally uh made it what uh what did I miss? Chris, what's going on, dude? We buttered in Christchurch once again. Hopefully, we're going to butter in Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, we're flying the brand new Tolis version 1.2. Look at that wing flex, too. Ooh, definitely fixed that wing flex as well. That was pretty. I like that. Uh, so, what's the myth that I will get blocked if you use it over one time? Uh, Bluffy, that's if you're sending it to different, like, that's if, like, you're activating it on your computer and then you're sending the key to your buddy and he's activating it on his computer, and then your buddy gives your key away to a friend, and then he's activating it on his computer. They can keep track, man. Just keep that in mind. Hey, Gab, I think it's uh, Toronto's time to win the cup. They haven't won since 67. Is that who it is? Is it Toronto, Ottawa tonight? You're born in Wellington. Nice, Oxtel, that's awesome, dude. Very, very cool. How can you, how can you compare the feeling of the Tolis compared to the Flight Factor A320? Uh, Mo, off that departure, I can say that they fly very close to one another now. Which actually surprises me. I'm really excited to land the Tolis now. I think we're going to spend a lot more time flying the Tolis now, guys. If that's the case. I think there was a good call to disconnect from x squawk Walks for departure. People do now uh, show respect at all sometimes. I agree, Ilya. And I'm really hoping me disconnecting is going to show people a little bit more respect. Um, it's like I said to everybody at the very beginning when I first started flying on Vatsim and people were asking me if they could fly with me. I do not mind if you fly with me. You just have to get one thing straight. I am streaming for 400 plus people. They're not here to watch me sit and wait for you to taxi or for you to push back in front of me or for you to sit up on the runway because you're not configured, ready to go. You have to show some respect, guys. If you would like to fly with me and you would like for me to continue to fly on the VATSIM network, you have to show a little bit of patience and a little bit of respect. Just let me go first. I don't give a shit what you guys do behind me. 
If you guys want to cut each other off and be assholes, that's completely fine. I don't care. Just don't do it when I'm trying to depart, okay? That's all I'm asking. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just trying to look out for the viewers and the people who are here who pay money and who donate to my streams and support my streams by showing up. They're not here to watch me sit and wait for 20 minutes while you guys figure out your shit. They're here to watch me fly and land and take off planes and chat with them, all right? That's it, that's the only reason. That's the only reason. If I'm flying offline, I have all the patience in the world. But when we're sitting here and I'm supposed to be putting on a show for hundreds of people and I'm waiting behind you while you start up your engines because you wanted to push in front of Captain Canada, no, we're not playing that game, guys. We're not gonna be playing that. Uh, it took 10 minutes, uh, it took off 10 minutes before you. That's it, Adol, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm a sensible flyer, nice, Joe, appreciate that. Uh, my friend buzz you as you were landing a while ago was a dick move. Yeah, there's a lot of those, man. There's a lot of those. The best flight tuber now are good. Thank you so much, man. Much appreciated. What landing speed indicator do I use at Tyler? Here you go, man. Nightbot's gonna put up a command for you, dude. Well said, well said. Well, that's it, man. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm really not. Like, I, I love flying with you guys. I love being on Vatsim. But, like, I, I can't continue to go like this. Like, it's stressing me out it's making me get upset it's making me get pissed off and that's not flight simulation is supposed to be a calming thing we're supposed to be here to have fun we're supposed to enjoy our time together we're not supposed to get upset at each other and get pissed off because one's holding one up or however you want to do it uh how long have i played explain philip for a while now man for a while i don't know why it didn't pop up uh, lr hopefully it pops up now by a legend of 1080 Ti next month, boys and girls, absolutely vest, gonna be a hell of a time. There's the landing rate plugin that somebody was asking for. Uh, do I play Fortnite? I do not. Why? Uh, that's why Pilot Edge is beast. Yep. Uh, just joined in. What happened? Uh, nothing. Camo fighter. We just, just just want people to realize that uh, I have to. I had to do it twice now. Log off on departure because it's just a shit show, an absolute shit show. I'm a bit of a reckless flyer when I'm in a rush. Yep. No worries, man. No worries at all. Now it's told us flies well, we should predict better landing rates. Hopefully. Hopefully. Don't stress, not worth it. I agree, dude. I agree. I agree, man. Alrighty, top of descent's coming up here. Uh, let's take a look at our FMC. I'm assuming we're going to go down to 3,000 feet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Looks like 2,500 feet. Let's bring this guy down here. 2,500 feet. And we will start our descent now. Perfect. Go down here. Pop this guy open. Let's go to perf. Next phase. Wonderful. Let's open up our weather system here. We're going to go to NZ. Uh, where are we landing? NZ Wellington. WN. Uh, it's raining. Few clouds at 2400. Broken at 5000. Overclassed at 7000. All right. Interesting. <laughs> QH 1003 New Zealand. What is going on with your weather? I'm pretty sure they're just trying to make me come back. That's what this means. I have to come back to New Zealand and fly with some nice weather. So we can take in all the scenes, the views. At least we got ortho here now, right? Winds are 150 at 16. Holy moly. That is some windy windy. But our DH is 350. Perfect. Looking good. Who do we got coming in with the $1? We got Matt Design coming in with a $1 donation. Thank you so much, Matt. He goes, guys, can we please take a moment to spam F and chat? Uh, the last ever British Airways 767 is an hour from landing. End of 28 years of service. Yes, everybody, spam F in chat. The final 767 from British Airways will be uh, landing soon. Everybody give an F in chat. X-Plane Finland coming in with a two euro donation. This is today water sponsored by X-Plane Finland. <laughs> Thank you so much, X-Plane Finland. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you so, so much. 767 is done. What's your opinion on the 757? Having a problem with the autopilot, auto throttle? Uh, I haven't flown the 75 in a while. If you're having issues with the auto throttle, I suggest uh, while you are moving the. Um, okay, wait. K KU11, calm down. We get it. We get it. Calm down. Nightbot's going to ban you, man. You better be careful, dude. Nightbot will pull out the hammer real quick. Um, 
Yeah, advance your throttles as you select Toga or whatever it is. Which one do you suggest to buy, the E320 or the 319? I'm going to leave that one up to you, man. Um, I mean, they're both great planes. We're about to land this bad boy. Hopefully she flies as well, uh, as well as she did off departure. I'm looking forward to it. What's the F4 Ross, the final British Airways 767 will be landing in just under an hour, my friend. The final flight for BA. Do, you, do we press T when it's T time? Not quite. Not quite. So is it $49 or $69 worth it for the plane? Uh, yeah, it's true, Vess. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we got Jacob's Aviation coming in with another $2. She said farewell. 767. My man. Thank you so, so much, dude, for that $2 donation. Huge. No floaties to you, dude. Thank you so, so much for that. <laughs> After my Canadian dollar on the org store. Good night, Francis. What is Speedbird replacing the 7.6s with? Good question, G-Storm. I have no clue. Will the org store have an Xmas sale as well? Yes, Ravi, they will. They will, absolutely, man. As well as Cyber Monday. So they're going to have a huge Cyber Monday sale tomorrow as well. Emilio, how are you, man? Welcome aboard. I had sticky key on the spam F. Jesus. How many hours do you have in X-Plane 11? Uh, I have 1,400 now. Left for a couple of minutes, Cupcake. What do you miss? Not much, Chaz. Not much. VA are getting 787s and the A321neo to replace it. There we go. Very cool. Cap, what was the add-on you used for the C550, the Garmin thing? Uh, Keanu Spout, yes, it's called the Reality XP GTN 750. It's $50, man. $50 add-on. Uh, when I do engine shutdown on the A320, the fan blades still spin. Uh, Ravi, which version are you running, Ravi? Are you running the most current version? Because they should, as soon as you cut the engines, they should turn off. Okay, what is Cyber Monday? It's pretty much like Black Friday, but everything on sale. So all the online stores basically have like their Black Friday type deal. That's the wind. Yeah, true, Vess. It is true. I know that Flight Factor does simulate the fan blades spinning with wind. You're tracking the plane. Nice. Very cool. Zebo 73 has been fixed uh, like the VNAV thing. Nice, Nick. <clears throat> I'll have to update the patch. We'll be flying that on Tuesday, probably. Uh, what F does in chat? We're just showing our respects, Igor. Showing our respects, man. The last 767 from British Airways is going to be landing this afternoon. What was the song before this one? Uh, Ninjo. Song before this one was Thrill of It. I don't know by who. But Thrill of It. Purchased off the x -Men store yesterday. Uh, do I have to update it? You shouldn't, Ravi, but I would just in case, Ravi, um, open up the uh, open up the file and see if you have an X updater inside of it. Run the X updater. All you have to do is get your serial key and import your serial key. But uh, I always find it's good to good to uh, run it just in case. Sometimes the uh, the org store isn't as quick to update it. One zero zero three on our altimeter here, guys.
We see the cavalry approach by Captain Joe. Amazing visual. Gary, we literally, we did like the exact same approach, man. Yes. Beautiful. There's some payware scenery, Gary, for it. Uh, we pulled off the, uh, pulled off the Captain Joe approach not too long ago, man. It was absolutely beautiful. Can you explain to me what difference LNAV and VNAC or VNAV? Well, LNAV is longitude and V stands for vertical. So longitude means that it's going to basically go on your flight path. That is your L nav, and then your vertical navigation is going to pitch the plane up or down. So basically, it's going to give you your top of descent, top of climb, all that stuff. Uh, just measures that for you. Uh, we did fly to Calvi. Oh, the guys, we've flown to Calvi many times, man. We'll be back as well, dude. I absolutely love doing the circle to land approach into Calvi. One of my favorite approaches, dude. We've been in a flight with Cathay Pacific livery. We have not. Uh, yes, we have. We have in the A350. We have yes. You're about Russia attacking the Ukraine? I did not. I did not. LNAV is auto navigation, VNAV is vertical navigation. There you go. <clears throat> Naguyan Gia Tung, thank you so much for that subscription, man. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Uh, why do I have miss all the time? Right, the guys? My god, dude. Missing it all. It's okay, man. You're here now, dude. Don't worry. We're about to go on Pilot Edge. Have you ever seen Pilot Edge? The guys, Pilot Edge is a whole different experience. I just want to remind everybody, and I think I'm going to remind everybody prior to all of our streams, that Pilot Edge is a lot more work for me. And uh, I can't necessarily sit here. I can pay attention to chat, but uh, I, I can't necessarily pay as much attention as I am now when we're flying with nobody online because uh, Pilot Edge is a handful. And uh, if you miss your calls, oh boy, better be get ready to get yelled at. <clears throat> so many people are doing your route on Vatsim. Yes, sir. So sad to see a beautiful aircraft retired. Boeing's first wide body jetliner life coming to a close. Probably being replaced by 787. You got it, Jim Jack. It'd be interesting, though, because you know those 76s will go to a different airline. So you know another airline will probably put another 10, 15, 20 years on them. So that's a cool thought as well right there. Damn, you look good today, Cap. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, my friend. I feel good today. It's a good day. What's better for you, the Tolis A319 or the Flight Factor A320? <clears throat> really depends, man. I mean, up till today, until Tolis released version 1.2, I would say the Flight Factor, but I really want to give the Tolis a good show here. I want to give it a good try. I want to uh, get a couple landings under my belt, and then we'll, we'll have a good verdict for you, man. The BA ones are going for scrap. Damn, really? Shit. Watch you play on Pilot Edge Cup. Can't totally understand if you don't get to all of us in chat. Yeah, Chaz. It's, uh, it, it's, it's a whole different animal. And you guys will see very quickly why it is. You got to be on your A game flying on Pilot Edge or you're in trouble. Bought a laptop to run X plane. What yoke should I start out with? Uh, Red Pop. I mean, <clears throat> you can pick up a SciTech yoke pretty cheap now, dude. I would say a SciTech yoke. Why not? On the Tolis, there's still no rain effect. Nope, I don't think so, Gary. I don't think so. I think that's something that they're going to be working on in the near future. A plane's getting scrapped. I don't mind them going to another airline, right? That's it. Very true. And I don't think 761s are anywhere. Are ones are going any time soon? True. Who knows though? We're saying it's BA663 flying from Lanarka. To Heathrow, if anyone wants to keep track. There you go, that's cool. Love how Air Creole just uses IL 18s. My granny flew to vacation and not think. Yeah, they are old, the guys. They are old, man. <clears throat> 350 likes. Oh, baby. Nice. Well done, my friends. Thank you guys so, so much for that. All right, music's off. Let's fly this bad boy. I'll turn up the engine sounds here once more for you. All right. <clears throat> Coming through, uh, what are we at, 7,000 feet now? 7,600 feet. Complete soup. Can't see nothing. J 
Just notice that you're landing on 16 and I'm landing on 3-4. A deal. Do you have uh, real world wins? Because if you're landing on 3-4, <laughs> hey, heads up for that tailwind, my friend. You're going to have a 17 knot tailwind. Uh, NZWN. Winds are 150 at 16. 110 percent you should be landing on runway 16 uh do you know captain sullen sullenberg what the guy who uh yeah what's your macaulay sully sully no rain effects no vest no rain effects yet hopefully we get something soon from tolis i'd really like to see that i think that would complete the plane Just looks like we're flying through time right now hello cap i love your streams Juan. thank you so much dude very very much appreciated glad you're enjoying them Fokker 70s? Oh, man. I don't think I've ever got my uh, got a chance to fly on them. It's always CRJs over here in North America. We didn't get... Uh, we didn't really have the Fokkers over here. It's so funny to say. We didn't have those Fokkers over here, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Should fly it manually more now? Yeah, it's true. Wait till we get under these clouds. I mean, I don't want to fly it right now while we're in these clouds. It's not very fun. A little late because I need to go to flight training. No worries, Juan. No worries at all. Uh, I've been talking with Toto about bringing his rain stuff from the TBM to us. Nice, Cobalt. Nice. That'd be cool. Come with a pretty penny, though. Hey guys, let's get our LS switch on here. Cap, any tips for getting our FPS streamer, FSX streamer? Just be you, man. Just be you, FO Marquis. Just be you, dude. Don't uh, don't change for anybody, man. You do you. Enjoy it, man. Take it all in. It's a fun experience. All right, guys, let's go flaps one. I'm going to start slowing us down here, about 170 knots. we got traffic in front of us. I want to make sure that... Uh, I like what they did with the traffic, too. It's nice. just want to make sure that he gets out of there. I'm also going to manually descend this bad boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> GVR coming in with a $10 donation. Thank you so, so much, GVR, for your support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. He goes, at Nadia, you don't get away that easily. <laughs> GVR, I was dying when I saw that happen. GVR, my man, huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you so, so much, GVR, for your continued support, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, man. Absolutely awesome, GVR. Let's go ahead and get GVR in here. $215 from Mr. GVR. GVR, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> GVR, you don't get away that easily. No, you don't. There we go. GVR's in there. Thank you so, so much, GVR. Very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely awesome, dude. All right. Let's go back to like a 1,000 feet here. I'm going to leave this at 3,000 as well. There we go. 2,500. Perfect. Approaching. Oxfo Gaming, thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome aboard. I don't know why that just reset itself. I had it set to 1003. I don't know why that just happened. Cap QNH is one. Yep, there we go, Cedric. Yep, I just picked up on that as well. Much appreciated. All right, localizer is on. Approach switch is on as well. Localizer is captured. Perfect. Looking good. Let's slow this bad boy down here. We're actually going to go to uh, full approach status here. Uh, let's go flaps two and gear down. Love it. Flaps three. Flaps full. 
approaching. I'm Obelikan. Thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. All right, nose lights going on. Wing lights on. Wonderful. We got Paulo Panetto coming with a two-euro donation as well. Thank you so much, Paulo. I am running X Enviro 1.07S. Everybody get your landing rates in now, my friends. I am going to go ahead and take control of the airplane because I want to fly this. I want to see what she's like now. I want to take this all in. We'll do our cabin check here. Perfect. Landing checklist geared down. Three green. Flaps are full. Spoilers are armed. Auto brake is set. Number one. Cabin crew's been advised. We've been given clearance to land. Let's butter this one out, shall we, my friends? Everybody get your landing rates in now. Get them in now. Weather's not nearly as nice as it was yesterday when we came in here. We're just flying the ILS by hand here, guys. We're still in the ILS path. We're just flying it by hand. Oh, shit. We can't see a thing out there. My goodness me. Has that guy touched down yet? He's close. Skullman Gaming coming in with a $2 donation as well. This is Notice Me Senpai. Thank you so, so much, Skullman Gaming. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Huge no floaties to you, man. Very, very much appreciated, dude. Yeah, man. I mean, if you owned the Tolis and you were upset with the flight dynamics or the, the flight model, now's your time to head back in because uh, I can tell you just from how this thing flies, it is nice. They have fixed it 100%. At least to what I think how a plane should fly and how every other plane flies that I've owned in a simulator. So, definitely about this Tolis. Well done so far. Let's see how she goes on landing. Uh, I wouldn't hold your breath for a butter here, guys. This is my first landing in the new plane. Uh, the flight model is completely changed. So, it will be interesting to see what's uh, how she lands. I'm going to try. It feels well, like I need to fly it kind of like the the flight factor with just a little bit less flare so we'll, we'll see we'll test it out do i have a multi-monitor setup i do i have a 43 inch wide that i play my simulator on and uh, i have a 27 inch gaming monitor here that i play all my shooters and that type of shit on and my chat goes on there paulo pinento with another two dollar donation thank you so much Free add-ons? I don't want to spend another money. Free add-ons? I mean, there's a bunch of free add-ons, but it uh, really depends, man. I can't really help you out too, too much right now. Worried about getting this bad boy down on the ground. Getting blown slightly off track by that wind. 500. Okay, though, 500 feet checked. 100 above. Oh, man, she flies so nice now. It just feels heavy. Feels like I'm flying a jet. I love it. This is how it should feel. Minimum. Thank you guys. Oh man. Yes, this is so nice. Minimums landing. Three hundred. Two hundred. Fifty. Forty, thirty. Retard, retard, gently. It's so good. Open those reversers, hold that nose, bring that nose down gently through the D-cell. Tolis. Tolis. This is for you, Tolis. This is for you. You deserve it. 
You have fixed the plane, finally! It flies like a proper fucking jet! Thank you so, so much! Ugh! Oh, I can't believe we have a 319 that we can actually fly now! Tolis! Well fucking done, my friends! Extremely enjoyable to fly! Thank you for providing me with a proper $70 pairway plane! Now I can feel good about myself! And about owning this aircraft. Yes. So much yes. So, so much yes on that flight model. Wow. <clears throat> Does that mean I get a hug? Yes. You do. You get a big hug. Look at that. We just cleared the runway for him too. Woo. We made it. Alright. Landing lights coming off. Master start switch on that APU. Let's go ahead and fire that bad boy up. A nose light over to taxi. Strobe lights coming off. Wing lights coming off as well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wellington, New Zealand. Oh, baby. A little bit of a floaty on that one, but I mean, I wanted to, I really wanted to feel the flight model. And she is nice. She is very nice. Well done, Tolis. You guys deserve a big pat on the back. I really, 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 everything that we've been through together, <laughs> I feel like you guys deserve a pat on the back. Very, very well done. I do enjoy it thoroughly. This is a great plane. All right, let's clean up our flaps, clean up our spoilers, make sure all that's good. So we're heading to the gate here, guys. Let's go right beside our other buddy here, Air in New Zealand. And the braking, everything about it is just so much better. It's not fucking squirrely and all over the place now. Oh, it's so good. I love it. We're going to be flying this bad boy a lot here, guys. 319 on the channel. Yeah, just even taxing it, it's just so nice now. Oh my god, they fixed it. I can't believe they actually fixed it. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Beautiful. Pull that park brake. APU is on, APU bleed is coming on, engine 1 is coming off, engine 2 is coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you to Wellington, New Zealand, where the weather is absolutely awful. <laughs> My goodness me. What's the plan for Tuesday, PA? Uh, yes, we're going to be on Pilot Edge on Tuesday. Let's take a look at those winners, guys. We got Ninjo in first place, 103.2, hell yes, dude. That's one of the closest I've ever seen at Ninja. 0 .4, 0 0.04 off. Wow. Edward A, second place with 103. Wow, 0.2 off. My goodness me. And M Sair, MS Air, 102.5 as well. Well done, my friends. Absolutely awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Those onion sounds aren't bad. They aren't. Not bad at all. <clears throat> BSS is going to be making a sound pack for this plane as well. Oh, boy. Tolis is on the up and up. Tolis is going to be a very, very, very good plane here in the near future, guys. Uh, especially when we get some BSS sounds. And if they keep working on it, the only thing we need next is we need some retexturing. But we can live with this. We can live with the flight model at least now because uh, she flies nice. She flies nice. All right, guys. Let's toggle that replay mode. Let's back this sucker up here. Let's go shift three. We'll take a look here on the runway. We have a displace threshold just a little bit. We'll get onto that right here. Wonderful. Looking good. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, you guys know what time it is. Unfortunately, this is going to be the end of the stream for me, guys. Um, Captain Canada, this plane is not fixable. Well, I mean, if you would have asked me two months ago if this plane was fixable, I would have laughed at you. But uh, lo and behold, Tolis is hard at work. Maybe they actually do care about what we say, guys. Well, about at least what I say. <laughs> not the song. No. <laughs> Oh gosh, not the song. I love it. I love it. <laughs> love how all of you guys are like, no, not the song, man. Don't do it to his captain. Just look at the flare. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Butter. Beautiful. Jacob's Aviation coming in with another $5 donation. Thank you so much, Jacob's Aviation. He goes, thank you for the stream and it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Jacob. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Thank you for having me here in New Zealand, man. It was a true pleasure. And to everybody else, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today, supporting the stream. 
smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button. You guys are all absolutely the best. I want to thank everybody who tuned in for our New Zealand and Australia tours. I know it was well overdue, but I'm extremely glad we we're finally able to head to Australia and New Zealand. And like I said, now we got the airports, we got the photo reel. There is no excuses for us not to come back. Again, can we have a huge Tolis? Thank you, Tolis, for fixing your plane, listening to what we all said as a community. I really, really do appreciate it. The plane flies like a true pleasure now. Extremely well done, Matt and gang. Well done, my friends. Uh, next week, guys, we're going to be on the Pilot Edge Network. If you've never seen the Pilot Edge Network, you'll definitely want to tune in. It is a lot of fun, very realistic um, air traffic control. All of uh, West Coast USA. So it should be a hell of a time. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support today. It is very much appreciated. I'm going to leave you guys with some replays here. Everybody, stay safe. Happy landings. And I'll see you guys all on Tuesday on the Pilot Edge Network. Take care, my friends. Hugo, thank you for that subscription as well, man. Take care, guys. Approaching. Approaching.